Hello everyone and welcome back to the Cloudmersive YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how you can quickly convert an HTML string to text using the Cloudmersive Document Conversion Connector in Power Automate. This conversion is really just stripping important text contents from HTML and removing the clutter of HTML syntax, which is very useful when reviewing and editing web content for any reason. Let's get started. On the Power Automate homepage, click Create and select Instant Cloud Flow on the next page. We're using the instant option to have more control over the data for demonstration purposes, but you can easily make an automated flow with simple parameters as well. Next, give your flow a name and then select manually trigger a flow and click create at the bottom of the page to move on and begin designing. Once you're on the flow design page, click new step and type Cloudmersive into the operation search bar. Below, you should see several Cloudmersive connectors pop up with different colored logos. We want the green logo that says document conversion. Once you select that, you'll see a list of actions associated with that connector. Type HTML to text into the search bar and select the option that comes up below. Once you do, you'll need to authenticate access to this connector by providing your Cloudmersive API key. If you don't have one, you can quickly get one by registering a free account on our website, cloudmersive.com. This key will provide you a limit of 800 API calls per month. Now it's time to add our HTML string to the connector. Simply copy and paste and ensure your string is properly formatted. After that, you can move on to the final step in the flow. In Power Automate, there are a few ways you can get text from this operation. For this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to create a new file with that text. Click New Step and type Create File into the operation search bar. Select the option associated with the application you want to save this new file in. For me, that's SharePoint, so I'm selecting that action and then defining my site address. Next, you'll need to define the folder path, name, and contents of the new file. Click on the File icon button to navigate to the folder you want to use. Once selected, give your file a name and include the txt suffix at the end. Finally, click on the File Content bar and select the Text Content Result option from the Dynamic Content window. This dynamic content will fill the new text file with the output content from the operation. It's time now to save the flow and test it. Click Save at the bottom of the page, and then click Test in the upper right corner. Select the option to manually trigger a flow, and then click Test at the bottom, followed by Continue and Run Flow. If the flow tested smoothly, you'll see green check marks appear in the upper corner of each operation in the flow. Once you see those, it's time to head to the target folder and make sure the new file is where it should be. As you can see, I have a new text file including only the text portion of the HTML string I included. It's much easier now to see only text-related contents from the original HTML string and edit them as needed. That concludes this video. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more Power Automate tutorials in the near future.